Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would show you this little, oh, I don't know, it's a folded up booklet, not quite a booklet, it's a folded pocket element that you can add some things to put into a journal. You could pop this in an envelope to share with some friends. So I thought I would show you my little idea here. I kind of got the idea because one of the admin from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group made something similar to this, and I thought I would make my own version. So I thought I would start first with an index card. I've gone around the edges with Distress Ink Walnut Stain, so it's got a little bit of that vintage look to it. But I want to spray it with some Tattered Angels, so give me a moment to get my spray box out. I've got a couple of colors of Tattered Angels, one of these being So Bronze from the So Artsy kit. It's a pale color, but I kind of like that it's got a little bit of a vintage feel to it. And then this is Craft. I'm just going to spritz it a couple of times. I'll flip it over and then we'll spritz the other side as well. So I'll kind of give that a little bit of a vintage feel. I want this to dry before I move on, so I'll just set this aside for right now. The base of this little pocket thing is a book page. I went ahead and cut mine so that it's no taller than seven inches because I know I want it to fit vertically in my journal. I'll take this and fold it over in half. And then I use this as my guide to figure out how I wanted to fold it. And I want this to be an element on the back. So I'm just going to look at this and bring this over and fold it so that I have enough of a base on the back side to take care of this piece. And then I'm going to have a pocket on this side. I don't need this right now, so I want this element right now. Next thing I need to do is go around all the edges with some Distress Oxide ink. So I'm just going to, not Distress Oxide, Distress Ink Walnut Stain. So I've gone all the way around this little piece here. And the next thing I want to do is I've got a scrap. It's about a one inch by 12 inch scrap of scrapbook paper that I cut off because of another project. And I want to put this right across this portion of the book page. So I'm just trimming that to be the same width. I'll go ahead and apply again some Distress Ink Walnut Stain. You know, if you don't have Walnut Stain, any color that you like of Distress Inks, other people have used acrylic paint, shoe polish, use whatever you have or want. So this piece I will glue down on top of here. I have a piece of this Italian paper. A friend of mine that I met online many years ago sent me a whole envelope full of scraps from making what was it wedding invitation envelopes so all of these were handmade envelopes can you imagine getting a beautiful envelope like this and i thought it would be pretty if i put it across right here so i'm going to line this up and then just trim it to be the same length or width of this piece of paper and i'll apply some distress things to this piece so this piece I want to put to where it's right across the front here. So I'm just kind of looking at it to see how far down I want to go. So I'm just going to put it to where there's a little bit of a border right here and glue this down. Kind of helps cover up the text, gives it a little pretty pattern to it. I've got a scrap of paper here and I'm going to use from the stitches set. It's kind of a curved set of stitches in this particular stamp. There's four different patterns and I like this one. So we're going to stamp it in this white area, if you will. So it gives a little bit of a pattern across there. I have this scrap piece that's from the Autumn Ride from Calico Collage. And the other one that I made, I turned it this way for the pocket. So this time I'm going to turn it this way. So it just kind of depends on how you want to read it, if you will. And I'll just glue that down in the middle, like so. Now what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of glue right here, which just makes this little flap a little bit stronger. Not much. You don't have to glue it, but I decided I wanted to have a little bit of glue in there. The next thing I want to do is I want to glue this part down as a pocket. So I'll put glue right here on this edge on both sides. 
and I'm just going to press that into place. And then I'm going to open this whole piece up and I want to make a pocket here. So I'll glue across here on these edges. You see there's a little bit of glue there and I'll just press that into place. All right, so on this side, I'm flipping this over. So this is going to be a little pocket place here. On this side, I want to put this guy that is from one of those tear off pads. I have this little notepad here. So you get a bunch of these little papers for a dollar at like the Dollar Tree. You know, if you don't have this, you could use notebook paper, you could use a piece of copy paper, whatever you have laying around. And I think I want to glue that down right in that upper portion of this piece. And I'm just using a Lean's Tacky Glue. I reuse my bottle. I buy a big bottle and pour it into the smaller bottle because it's easier to handle. I want to make a pocket across this bottom area. So what I'm going to do is I'm lining this up across here, kind of getting it centered. And I'm going to fold this over. Fold this one over and then unfold it. And then I've got a scrap of a book page that I want to glue across the bottom. Why? I want to have the full size of this pocket so that if I have something that's exactly the same width, it will fit. I'll just trim this portion off. You want to make sure that the glue is dry before you fold it. I'll just take this piece and fold it to the inside increase it and then undo it and then I've got this fold this way so I'm going to take this area right across here sometimes it's hard for me to see it and cut this corner off and then I'll do the same thing over here just kind of looking at it cut this corner off and then when you fold this to the inside you now have this little pocket that you'll be able to use the full width of it I like to look at this and see if I need to add some distress ink and I do. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So this piece I'll glue, I'm going to get this rotated around down here in this little area. So I just put glue on the little flaps and then I'll line this up. Let me use my distress ink and just kind of come in here and touch this area the, that didn't get covered up. All right, so we're getting this decorated out. So we've got little pieces of paper on here. I want to put some stamping on here. So let me see what stamps I want to pull out. I think this one's iron, is it iron finial? I'll have the link in the description box for the stamp that I use, but I like this little flourish, if you will, that's on there. So I'm going to ink it up with archival ink jet black. That's what's right here. And let's line it up to where it's kind of in the top center here and stamp that down. Yeah, so it kind of gives a little detail there. And then I've got, I've got a couple of these images. I think I like this one. This is from Calco Collage. She's got a new autumn butterfly. There's butterflies and moths. And I kind of requested that she make some of these and she did. So I like using them. Just a little touch that I can put on my project. I also went in to her faux postage for the, I think this is Autumn Ride. I'm not positive. It may be Autumn Breeze. And I reduced them just a little bit. So this is a little bit smaller than what comes in the actual digital page. And remember, you know, you can take digital images, especially from Calico Claws, because they're JPEG, and you can resize them. So make them the size that you need. I thought this would be cute if I placed it right here on that little pocket. So I'll glue that down. And then I happen to have a laying here, just a scrap of cardstock. And I've gone around the edge with some distress inks. I rounded the corners and it so happens that it just barely fits right there. So I thought it'd be cute as a little label. So if there was something you wanted to write there, maybe you have a date stamp you want to stamp on that. Maybe you have another word phrase or text that you want to type or right or bussy cut out all right so we've got those pieces got a couple of calico collage images here so i thought this would be good to put into the pocket i gotta make sure that the first time i use it that i've got it okay good 
So now see, I can have it come all the way to that edge. So if my card was a little bit wider, it would still fit. And then this is, I reduced the size, but this is a library pocket from the Autumn Ride. And I thought it'd be kind of cute to just poke in there. I have a piece of text weight copy paper, and I thought this would look kind of cute if it was folded. And then let's add some distress inks. I'm trying to get a little bit straighter Go around the edges with some distress ink. I'll go ahead and open it up and fold it back the other way so that I can have that distress look all the way around. It's kind of plain looking, so I'm going to take that same iron finial and try to line it up as best I can and stamp across the top and the bottom here. And I'll flip it over and do it on the other side. So now we have this little piece that you can take out and write on. And this piece I want to put in this little pocket that we made. All right, so let's go back to this side and let's put some stuff in this pocket. Here's another image from Calico Collage. And then let's go back to my, um, what is this? This is a index card. It's still a little damp. So I'm gonna crinkle it just slightly and uncrinkle it. And then I'm just gonna rub my distress tool. I'm not adding any more ink per se off of the ink pad. I'm just using what's already in there and kind of adding a little bit more texture to it. All right, so I'll smooth this out and it's still a little damp, so I'm gonna dry it with my heat tool. All right, so it's a little wrinkled, but that's okay. If you want it really smooth, iron it. You know, you can take it over to your iron and iron it. All right, so now what I've got is from the Postal Cube, the word that says postcard. So I'm just putting it on my acrylic block. And I wanna put this in this upper left corner. So I'm just going to stamp it down like so. Then I've got another one of these faux postages that I'm going to put in this corner. So I'll just glue that down. I have from the Postal Cube, again, this is like a cancellation stamp. So I'm just kind of making sure I've got it right side up. And we're going to stamp that right here. So it kind of looks like it's had it canceled. And some postcards have this divider line. So I'm going to use this finial again and stamp this like so. Okay. And then let's put a faux address there. And what I found is if I take the, this is the postal collage and there's an address here. So I'm just going to hold it in my hand and just slightly ink up that little area right there and then just barely kiss it so it looks like I've written in that address. Isn't that kind of cool? All right, on this side, it's kind of plain. You still have the lines. I have the spiraling vines and I've got a sepia color of archival ink and I'm just using my fingers to help ink up the stamp and I want to stamp across my whole index card so it just kind of gives us a little background pattern and then i have another one of these fussy cut butterflies from norella's kit and let's glue that right here so i just took a relatively plain index card and we added some texture to it color stamping a digital image and now it looks like this vintage postcard that's just been around for a while and you can still write on here if you like so let's put that in our little pocket. So we've got this little element here that has a pocket here and some prettiness. So even if you take out all the elements, it still looks pretty. And then when we flip this over, we've got a pocket on this side, which has another little library pocket. You could glue this somewhere else if you want. Make that another little element in your journal. And that's what it looks like when we take all the elements out. And then if you open this area up, we've got this folded piece of paper. So now you have all these little writing spaces, if you will, that you can add into a journal or pass it along as a gift to a friend so that they have these little elements of ephemera that they can use in their journal. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Usually we make journals. On Thursdays, I have a live premiere at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time where it's a pre-recorded video set to start at 12.30 p.m. That could be anything. It could be about stamping, mixed media, making little elements for junk journals is generally what it's all about. If you haven't checked out my Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, please do. I'd love for you to come join us. Check the links below for getting to connect to me as well as the products that I use today. Again, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a fabulous day and we'll see you next time. Bye.